Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be going through my review of this book over here. So, before we get into the video, I thought I'd apologize for one thing, uh, and that is this uh, very interesting trim at the moment, or lack thereof. So, don't worry, as soon as lockdown's over, that'll be sorted. And really quickly, just before I get into the review, please do make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below to stay up to date with all the videos that I make. So today I'm going to be going through this book over here, talk about how you can secure your place at a UK dental school. So this book was actually written by the two founders of the I Want To Be A Dentist website. Uh, they sent me this book and asked me to review it for you guys. And I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible to make sure you guys get this information super quick. So your first question is probably, what is this book all about? Why should I buy this book? Who is it aimed at? So this book is actually aimed at anyone that is thinking of applying for dentistry. This being people trying to apply for the regular undergraduate course or who are applying as postgraduate. And with regards to what the book contains, it is a very, very, very in-depth guide about all things to do with dentistry. It tells you about all the interview prep, it tells you about like the statistics with regards to how many people get into dentistry, it tells you about personal statement prep, gives you personal statement advice, personal statement examples, uh, UCAT advice, like the list goes on and on and on. Basically, if you're thinking of applying for dentistry, this book can be very useful for you. One of the big positives of this book is that it has so much information and it answers a lot of questions that people might have with regards to the dental application in the UK. Another really good thing is it doesn't just target people that are applying through the traditional route, which is through, you know, like your A-levels and then you're getting your interviews and you get onto an undergraduate course. It also goes through the alternative routes for dentistry. Now, this can be really good for people that may not have had the most traditional route or the most traditional circumstances when applying for a dental school. Even though the book covers a lot of content, and there's a few sections that I found very interesting personally. For example, there's an entire chapter about how to deal with rejection and the different options of entering dentistry. There's an entire chapter about work experience, telling you what work experience is, how you could potentially gain it, and how to make the most out of it, which is something that I find people really struggle with because um, number one, it's really hard to gain work experience, but even though some people do achieve that, they don't really make the most out of it. So this book kind of gives you some tips and tricks about how you can maximize your experience. And lastly, I found the personal statement section very interesting. This is because they had a mixture of accepted and rejected personal statements for dentistry and they give a little evaluation at the start to tell you what things they thought were good and bad. This can be really good to help self-critique yourself in your own personal statements and to find out how you can improve and what things you should keep in. Because I personally know how difficult it can be to cut down a personal statement or to you know get that workout just right and this book gives good guidance in order for you to be able to do that. Now that I've kind of given a brief summary of what the book contained and the parts that I like, I thought I'd tell you guys like the pros and cons of this book. So starting off with the good things first, one of the best things about this book is the fact that it was written so recently. Uh, that means it has a lot of topics and a lot of information that is very up to date, especially with a lot of the statistics that are included and the personal statements that are included as well. Another really good thing that I like about this book is that it got a lot of collaboration from different dentists across the country. So you get multiple perspectives about what dentistry is like and you get multiple perspectives about the different routes that they took to get into dentistry. One thing that is really important to note when applying for this course is that there's so many different experiences people have and so many different ways that people end up becoming dentists or dental students. So the fact that the book highlights this I find very important because it shows you that there's not just one linear route where you need to do like really get really good academics, get great work experience, like have 1000 extracurricular activities to be a dental student. And the final thing that I really like about the book is the fact that it has example questions and model answers for different interview questions. It can be quite hard online to find these and the fact that you can have it in one book in one place can be really useful and helpful. But now let's go into the negatives. So one of the biggest cons about this book is that it has so much information. Now, you know, you might be thinking, okay, this is great that there's a lot of information there for me to look up, but I feel like it's quite an information dump at times and there's just a lot of bulk filled content. Because if you look at the book, you know, it's, it's quite a chunky boy and there's a lot of information there that as much as it is useful to some, I feel like you just find it very easily online on the internet. The next thing I'd say is that the quality of the book isn't the greatest. Like I've had this book for a few days and already some of the pages are starting to fall out. Uh, I don't know if this is just like a manufacturing error or it's something that's recurrent. So that's just something to bear in mind. And the last comment I'd say is that I feel like it just doesn't have enough information to warrant it saying that it helps postgraduates. Um, I feel like it does give a lot of amazing information. However, postgraduates are quite a specific candidate and I'm not sure if it hits the nail on the head on all points uh, with the postgraduate application, in my opinion. So after all that talk and waffle, would I recommend this book? I'd say yeah. I'd recommend this book to dental students that really want to have like every little detail when it comes to the dental application. I don't think that every single part is relevant or that you need to know. However, it can be something there, you know, that you flick through every now and again to gain some insight on certain points of the application. I probably wouldn't recommend buying this physical copy because this costs about 30 pounds on Amazon. And I think that's just a bit too much for this. However, the ebook only costs 10 pounds and I definitely, definitely, definitely think it's worth the money. I think it's a well-written book. I think it has a lot of very relevant information. 
Even though at points I do feel like it's a bit of an information dump, there are some golden bits of information there that can really, really help your application. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was just a short little review over this book that was sent to me by the I Want To Be A Dentist fellas. I tried to be as fair as possible and, you know, give some really genuine feedback. So I hope you guys appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification down below. And if there's any resources or things that you find online that you'd like me to review, please do let me know via DM or again in the comments below. And if you can, make sure that you check the links down in the description. Also make sure you check out my Instagram and my TikTok where I post content related to dentistry uh, that's a bit different than my YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.